I'm not going to have my phone for the whole day, all right? So I'm going to give you what Holy Spirit gave me, and we're going to jump into prayer as I have an hour drive, and I'm already an hour late. So that, that's how that's how that's how this Sabbath is going. But we're we're going to continue, amen. <laughs> All right. Ave María. Dios te salve María, llena eres de gracia, el Señor es contigo. Bendita tú eres entre todas las mujeres y bendito es el fruto de tu vientre, Jesús. Santa María, Madre de Dios, ruega por nosotros pecadores, ahora y en la hora de nuestra muerte. Amén. All right, amen. All right God bless you. Angel, welcome to your blessed Sabbath Sunday word. All right. And this is what I got from the Lord. And there was a man, there was a man who was lame and couldn't walk. I have to say the word lame. I don't like using, I don't like using the word lame, but we can't be sensitive nowadays, all right? This is exactly the thing about sensitivity. If you're so sensitive to everything, you will not accept correction. That's not what the Lord is here to do. The Lord is here to straighten you up, to make you tough. And it's not going to be easy when someone calls you lame. You're whack, right? Like... It's going to sound offensive, but there was a lame man and he couldn't walk. And this is the one where they brought him. He was bounded to his mattress. And the Lord said, pick up your pad and walk. I don't know what version this is. I was in Bible study and it came through so easy. The specific words were, pick up your pad and walk. I had to say pad. It wasn't mattress. It was pad. Now, with that being said, the man did as Jesus instructed him to. The man did as Jesus instructed him to. He picked up his pad and he walked. But he rolled up his pad and he walked. Now, when the Pharisees, the religious Pharisees saw this, they said, It is on the Sabbath. You are forbidden to roll up your pad on the Sabbath. Okay? And he said, but Jesus told me to. And now I can walk. And this man has never walked before. So he broke all the rules because Jesus told him to. Hence how I'm breaking all the rules today. Amen. Amen. By not being at church, right? Just today. Hopefully just today. God, please just today. <laughs> and, um. When he had another encounter with Jesus, what specifically stood out said, Jesus said to him, I have now healed you of sin. Go and sin no more. For if you sin, if you sin, it will be worse now than before. It opened my eyes. If you sin, I have, I have healed you. I have made you well. Go and sin no more. For if you sin again, it will be worse than the first. It, op it opened my eyes. If you know better, you do better. If the Lord delivered you from something and you go back to doing what you were doing, and you know now, you, you, you know better now. You know the law now. You know how, the, how, how this works. You know how reaping and sowing works. You know better. And you don't do it. It's going to be worse for you and that's Jesus that's not even that's not even father God that's Jesus straight telling you I'm here to correct you I'm not here to to be sensitive to your feelings I'm, I'm here to just just how a parent loves you and corrects you to do the right thing because everyone wants to see their child glow everyone wants to see their child dominate Everyone wants to see their child sharing and giving and being that, that prosperous student, right? That's the same way the Lord looks at you. All right, so if someone else calls you lame and the Lord says, yeah, that's my child, he is lame. And the Lord's trying to fix you and correct you, you better accept that correction. But once he heals you, go and sin no more. For it will be worse than the first. So pick up your pad and walk. 